Hey, this is Nashi55. This is going to be a video on how to change the magazine followers on the FNP9, which is made by FN Herstal. Just a little bit of background. I bought this pistol earlier this year, and the only issue I've had is that the slide would not lock back all the time when I went to clean it. So I contacted FN Herstal. And basically what they did is they shipped me some new followers for the magazine. They shipped me three of them. That's what these are. These actually go up in the top of the magazine. And this section right up here on the front is what's actually different. Let me try to compare them side by side here. I've already changed them. So this will just kind of show you what it's like if you have some you want to change it. So let me line it up here. There's the new one. As you can see, this section is built up compared to the original. This section is a little bit lower. So that's the main difference. Basically, they're the same other than that one small difference. But that's important because when the magazine is installed, this section is what actually uh, pushes up the slide release on the inside. So that's what's going to help keep the slide locked back. So let me show you what it's like to change it. It's pretty simple. Just got the standard magazine. Going to turn it over. We're going to take the bottom plate here off. And to do that you need something like a small flathead screwdriver. So we're just going to push in on the bottom to release the catch inside. And I use my thumb to help hold it down. So we'll just push it in. Once you hear that click, you know that the releases have been triggered. So you just use your thumb. I, I do. Just use your thumb here to help make sure the spring doesn't come out. Just don't forget, you got the spring inside with a lot of tension on it. So we're just going to ease this off using your thumb there to keep the spring inside. So then this is going to come off. There's the base plate, which is just made out of plastic, basically. Then you've got this release here, the little catch comes out, it just simply uh, fits on the base plate. So that's the way it would go back inside with the smooth edge down. And then I'm holding the spring here with my thumb, so we're going to release the spring. Alright, so we're going to ease that out. Now that we got the tension off, we can take it out. Alright, so I'm just basically here you got just the the aluminum uh, magazine, nothing in it. So we're just lay that aside and then as I mentioned, I've already changed the followers. Let me move this out of the way a little bit so you, you can see a little better, but I've already changed the follower, but all it does is loop around, loops around up here at the top. So all you'd have to do is just twist it and take that loose. So then if you want to put it back, all you got to do is just loop that end inside and then loop it around the bottom. So that's the way it fits on there. So like I said, I've already changed these, but that gives you a close-up view of this section and how it's actually built up a little bit more compared to one of the originals that I got. So one is this one's a little bit lower in that section. This one's built up a little more, and that's the, the main change. So I'll put that aside All right now. Let's say we change this one. We're going to slide it back in. Turn the magazine the right way. Just ease it in. We're going to compress the spring back down. And then my way of doing this is simply to use my thumb. Once I start getting the magazine pushed in, use the thumb. Just hold it down. And I like to angle the spring forward a little bit. Just like that. So I freeze up this hand, so then I'm going to take the base plate, keep my thumb on this uh, piece here to keep that inside, and then keeping the spring tilted forward allows me to slide these little um, lips here around the catch on the bottom. So once I get that started, holding my thumb on the spring, alright, now I can take my thumb off, now I can ease it back on. So this is now lined up, the base plate and the magazine are lined up, and they're almost all the way back. So 
If you think you're done at this point, you're not. Remember, this has to lock on. So what you want to do is just push it back nice and easy till you hear a click. All right, that click is what's telling you that it's now locked in place up here in the front. Those little uh, clips are now snapped into the base plate. So it's not gonna come off now unless you go back in and push this release inside. So now this magazine has been put back together. The followers inside, as you can see it, it now functions. You, could, you can certainly install it if you want to. We'll take out the magazine, magazine that's in the gun install this one so then that's what's going to keep the slide locked back so that extra bit of height to the followers is going to help keep the magazine I'm sorry the slide release pushed all the way up which is going to make sure the slide doesn't slide forward if you need to clean it or disassemble the gun so I hope you learned a little bit about it maybe if you have a different style that's fine that's just the way I do it so that gives you an idea of what it's like. If you have the same issue, the slide doesn't want to lock back, certainly contact FN Herstel. I think they'd be more than willing to send you the, the followers that you need. Make sure you get three of them because they normally come with three magazines. So really easy to change, something you can do pretty simple. Just take your time, watch out for the springs, and then you'll have the pistol ready to go next time you need to use it or clean it. So it's Nashi55 signing off. Thanks.